hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys bluetooth is not working on a windows 11 computer but you can follow these steps in windows 10 as well so let me show you the error first if i open the bluetooth and other devices setting you can see i don't have any on or button and if i click on add option okay could not connect error and even I have, if I go to the device manager as well so there is no bluetooth option in my windows 11 ok you can see there is no bluetooth options here if I click on my Dell laptop host name and then click on scan for hardware changes still there is no bluetooth option if your bluetooth is option is not available here this video is for you I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot this issue easily so first step I always recommend you to use the windows troubleshooter which comes by default in windows 10 and 11 so open the windows search bar and type the troubleshooter and open troubleshoot setting same you need to do in windows 10 as well and then click on other troubleshooter and first of all look for bluetooth here ok run it and it is going to the microsofts so if you are able to run it as a local you can do that also click on yes and it's trying to reset it press continue to proceed yes so this is the first method you can check it and it's recommended always use the windows troubleshooter first so let me open the again bluetooth and our devices setting if i okay still there is an error so we can proceed with the second method in the second method we need to make sure that the bluetooth service is running from the windows services go to search bar type their services run as an administrator and look for bluetooth click anywhere and then type b on your keyboard and you will see bluetooth audio gateway service make sure it is running if not right click and go to its properties and set it as automatic ok and start the service click on apply click on ok choose the second option bluetooth support service right click update uh, properties and make sure automatic as well and also this third option make sure it is running also okay and leave it as startup type as default so you are not able to change the third service make sure you choose uh, these two services and then restart one by one all if it is already running so we can restart it will refresh all the settings once we restarted all three services you can see the third one restarted ok so now it's recommended to restart your system so let me restart my system and then i will show you if my issue is solved or not ok so i have restarted my system and let me go to the bluetooth and other devices settings ok ok still there is no bluetooth option here and if i go to the device manager ok so as you can see here bluetooth is available here if i expand that you can see there is a blur option and if i try to update the driver it's not working ok so make sure bluetooth device rf com protocol tdi is here it's a hardware if it is not here you need to go to the this your host name then scan add legacy hardware 
next and install the hardware that manually from list second option and then you need to look for network adopters and click on next and click on just wait it okay and look for here this option okay a bluetooth device rf com protocol make sure you select that option from here browse all the options from here okay one by one like this and mostly you will get this option in the microsoft okay so make sure you need to find this driver here but in my case it is already here okay if you select that driver just click here and then click on next and it will automatically click on next and it will automatically install your driver the hardware thereafter you need to install the driver for this so guys as you can see here bluetooth is not working on my laptop okay so we need to troubleshoot it on a hardware level so let me shut down my system first and we need to troubleshoot this so basically we need to flush the power this is called the flush power okay and this will drain all the motherboard socket errors from your laptop or the system you can do the same thing remove any external usb cables from your system only just leave it only like laptop you need to remove all the external cables from your system as well you can remove the power cord okay and then the other mouse usb all the cables from laptop as well as from the pc once you do that in the laptop you can remove the battery so this is my battery and this is removable you can see here okay just remove it if you don't have the removable battery you can also proceed this method and this is a power key you need to hold it for almost 30 seconds in the system as well as the laptop just hold it for 30 seconds almost and this will fix the motherboard related errors hardware related errors release the power key and then put it back the battery and you can put the power code here on the system and the my problem has been solved here you can see it is adding the device here so okay so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue now your issue should fix if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix